Hello everyone, in this video we will see how to install, demo, import and customize Blogus, an ultimate blog WordPress theme. It is ideal for a personal blog. It's a simple page. There are three free th uh, themes available. This is the first one and this is the theme with the slider demo and this is the dark demo. So let's see how to install, customize and demo import. First, go to your WordPress dashboard, click Appearance, then click Themes. Here, click Add New Theme and search for Bloggers. This is the theme we are going to install. So, click Install, then click Activate. Okay, now the theme is activated. Let's import the starter sites. So, click this starter sites. So, it will open the unsigned port. One click Demo Import. Here, you can see first three templates are free, others are pro. You can, wish, uh, you can demonstrate each one. Let's click this one. This is the first demo. This is the second demo with the slider. And this is the third demo with the slider but in the dark mode. So you can select whichever preferred one. So let's go back. So I'll select this block light 2 with the slider. So click import. Click confirm. Okay. Now it will start to import the demo data. It will take a couple of minutes depending on your internet speed. Once the importation is complete, it will show live preview. So let's click this live preview. Wow, you can see all the demo contents have been imported. But not the demo post. I will show you how to edit these things. Okay, if you want to customize, first click this customize here. Or else you can go to word dashboard, go to appearance and click customize. So many features are pro, but we are editing only with the free features so click the site identity here you can give a logo and you can select site title let's select a logo let's select this logo click open click select if you want you can corrupt or else you can keep as it is keep cropping okay now you can see the logo is appearing here so if you want to have the site title title you can have but if you want to remove the site title appearing in the website you can just untick this one okay if you want to add the site icon you can add the same icon okay so let's publish and open the site in a new tab you can see it's up here like this and let's go back and head options you can click this social icon you can give social icon with the link you can see in the main website there are facebook twitter insta youtube telegram so with that you can have these links this is the fp logo you can if you want you can change then you can copy paste your facebook link here similarly you can edit other one this is x link and if you can if you want you can drag and drop here to change the order so those kind of things you can do and publish and let's go back and in the menus you can see hide or show search menu you can see the search menu source are here so you can hide on show search menu hide and show the subscribe button and button link you can put here if you want you can put your youtube link and if you want the link to open in a new tab you can activate this otherwise you can disable this so those kind of things you can do it here so that is for this and let's come back the theme option you can select let's edit the typography setting blog page single page those kind of things you can edit the blog page you can visualize the category and author date those kind of details let's show you what this is, is mean let's open a blog post here and you can see the blog post it shows the blog category this post is categories in fashion and food and also the author's name with the date here so if you want you can remove this category and showing this date and those kind of things if you don't want to show the date and other things you can click this hide all and those kind of things you can edit here also here you can edit uh, show hide the categories for the details date tags featured images those kind of things you can edit here in sidebar settings you can have the sticky sidebar when you move the sidebar is sticky and other it cut as move and the you missed section that is here you can see let's come to the home you missed that item is here if you want you can change the name like latest post or something else featured post and publish let's come back and refresh and see here you can see the name come as the featured post the foot options you can edit the logo with foot logo height and footer columns there are three columns with the social icons those characteristics you can edit as shown earlier it is here this is three column here this one and the social media icon so you can edit 
you will see that if you want to increase the logo size you can increase so logo height you can increase to 110 like and publish let's refresh this you can see it's slightly increase if you want to increase more you can edit the logo size let's come back and photo copyright you can see copyrighted all all right reserved so if you want to edit this bloggers copyright banner there's a plugin so i have created another tutorial i'll put in the link in the description so you can see how to edit this so when you cut to the slider you can see the first post is like coming like this because this is the default post by wordpress so how to edit this go to the dashboard again close this one go to the post click all post so here you can see the wordpress default post is appearing so you can thrash this one now other demo contents will appear like this so you can edit each post with your contents or else you can delete the post and you can add your post whatever method you can do and here you can see the category those kind of things let's open this post let's edit this post i'll show you this is the post contents so you can edit the post using the wordpress blog editor it's very easy i have created another tutorial on how to create a post or page using wordpress blog editor i'll put the uh, link in the description you can watch that video and you can create very nice posts and then down you can see click categories here you can you can select which category this post belong to you can and uh, select the categories multiple categories you can select also if you want a new add a new category you can add new category like that you can add and you can put tags and the tags are important for the search engine optimization so what if you want to put some tags it will be searchable in the google search so please put some tags and also featured image the featured image is the main image that will appear when the page is uh, when the post is displayed so you can put any featured images the excerpt is a summary of the post so you can put a summary this summary will be appear when the customer search your post in uh, google so with the summary detail will appear so put some main summary on the post here so those kind of things you can put here so it's very light team there's no plugin sexually needed the answer import you can deactivate wp reset we, i have already installed so there's no plugins needed for for this uh website so it's a very lightweight so if you're using a simple post with the simple portfolio details this is ideal so let's refresh this if you want to edit this slider you can go back click this feature slider so enable slider banner section so here it shows the all categories so if you create a featured post then select you can select the featured one then it will display only the featured post here so that is the ideal method rather than selecting a category make some important post as a featured post and select that category as feature then features category will be displayed here and if you want some change some styles overlay color and those kind of things the slider, slider title font size those kind of things we can edit so this is the simple method to edit and let's see what's happening here why this uh posts are not appearing so let's check go to the dashboard appearance click customize and click this home page settings so your home page displays click post page now let's publish once you refresh wow you can see the all the latest posts are displaying here if you want to edit this menu add or remove menu items and arrange the order go to the wordpress dashboard click appearance then click menus in the menu you can see this is primary menu selected here you can see the menu contents are appearing actually these menu contents are categories so your post categories will appear here in the categories you can see the categories are here we can add all the categories to the menu if you create any pages like contact us you can add the page here for example i like this contact add to menu so it's coming in the down and if you want to rearrange the contents you can rearrange this is coming as sub menu if you want to have a main menu you can move here and if you want to edit the name you can edit here so that's kind of thing you can do so let's save this menu you can see now the menu order changed with the name change and also the contact page is appearing so the contact page is a contact seven form code but nowadays the wp forms is a better one i have created another video how to create a contact us form with the wp forms and you can add easily with the element tables or, or or else you can easily add with the wordpress blog editor so any any information you need regarding this uh theme customization please leave us a comment we will guide you thank you very much mm -hmm.